Tachyphylaxis is a condition that I can guarantee you all of you have seen at one time or another. You maybe didn't know the name of it or why it was happening, but you've seen it. So tachyphylaxis is when you have a decreased response to repeated injections of anesthetic into a certain region of the mouth. So when this would occur would be if you anesthetize a patient, everything's good, but maybe a procedure is dragging out and suddenly your pain control becomes inadequate. So what you do is you re-anesthetize in that same area that you initially put the anesthetic into. What you find this time is after that second injection, the duration of the anesthesia is maybe only half of what you got after that first injection. So you re-anesthetize again and now you're getting maybe only a quarter of the duration that you got from the initial injection. What's happening here is the pH of those anesthetics that we're injecting into that site are very low. So every time we inject them, we're making the tissues more acidic. And if you remember from other videos, the body is responsible for converting or buffering the anesthetic to convert it into its active form. So the anesthetic is not activated as efficiently in acidic tissues as it would be in tissues that are closer to the normal physiologic pH of the body. So it's the same thing that might occur in infection when you have a lot of acidity in the area, it's difficult to anesthetize people. So the solution for this is to use a different approach. So you could maybe, let's say if you're working on an upper second molar, maybe instead of infiltrating above that tooth, maybe you should try a posterior superior alveolar nerve block, inject into a different location where the tissue is less acidic. That's going to give you a better chance of having more active anesthetic being converted and a more profoundly numb patient.